Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics in chapter two. We're gonna do problem 2.10, okay? So it says, determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measure counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, okay? So, uh, first of all, we got these two forces, this 800 pounds going up and right, this 500 pounds going down and right. For these 800 pounds, they're giving us the angle with respect to the y-axis. I usually like to work with the angle with respect to the x-axis. So, if this angle is 40, so this angle over here is going to be 50 because between the y and the x-axis, there is 90 degrees. So, in order to find the resultant, I'm going to find the x component of these 800 pounds and, and the y and same for the 500. So, I'm gonna give this guy a name, f of one, and then this other guy, f of two. So I can label them. So if we start with f of one, in the x direction, it's going to be equal to the 800 pounds multiplied by the cosine of its angle, which is 50 degrees, okay? But using the calculator, it go 800 cosine of 50, and that will give us 514.23 pounds f of 1 in the y direction it's going to be 800 sine of 50 and that will give us 800 sine of 50 612.84 pounds Okay, we're done with f of 1, let's do go to f of 2. So f of 2 in the x direction, we're going to do 500, its magnitude, multiplied by the cosine of the angle, which is 35 degrees. Okay, so that's going to be equal to 500 cosine of 35, and that's equal to 409 point 58 pounds okay that's good for f of 2x for f of 2 in the y direction is going to be 500 multiplied by the sine of 35 degrees which is actually equal to 100 sine of 35 negative because it's going down 286.5 79 pounds okay so after decomposing these two forces we're gonna find the resultant by adding them up so the resultant in the x direction we're gonna have f of 1x which is 514.23 plus f of 2x which is 409.58 which will give us, so if we add these two guys, 514.23 plus the 409, it's going to give us 923.8 pounds, okay? For R in the Y direction, is going to be F of 1Y, which is 612.84 pounds. I'm gonna leave the units for the end plus a negative 286.79 for the y of the a force too. So we're gonna do 612 minus the 286 and we get 326.79. Zero five pounds. Okay, they want the magnitude. So in order to find the magnitude, we're gonna do Pythagorean theorem. So we're gonna do the R. Its magnitude is going to be equal to the square root of nine twenty three point eight square plus three twenty six point zero five square. So we do a square root 
of the 923 square plus the 326x square and we get that its magnitude is actually equal rounded up to 980 pounds okay so we found our first answer which is 980 pounds and now we're left with its direction measure counterclockwise so like this okay so how can we do that well we can use our tangent again because we have our y and our x5 so if we do that the angle theta is going to be equal to the inverse of the tangent of the opposite which is its y value so 326 point zero five divided by nine two three point eight nine two three point eight is equal to nineteen point four degrees. Okay, and this is our second answer. And uh, that's it for this problem. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any uh, any suggestions or any question, please comment down below and let me know. See you guys in the next video.